the show, like, no, again, it didn't feel like it dragged. And then the one segment, obviously, Gargano's back, which is a good, you know, glad for him because, uh, you know, he's, you know, WWE main roster deal now is worth a lot of money, a lot more money than he was making in NXT. And so it's, uh, it's good for him. I know, um, I know he had interest in AEW, but, um, I don't know what happened. You know, I mean, I know he, he was certainly leaning towards them. What happened you know, is like, Vince is gone. Well, now, for now, but I'm just saying why the, I mean, there was, there was nine months to make the deal and they didn't make the deal. So, um, yeah, now, you know, now Vince is gone, so he's back. I mean, once Vince was gone, I thought there was a really good chance he would go there because AEW didn't really pursue him at that level. I and mean, I know he talked that he really wanted to wrestle Omega, you know, talked about he thinking Omega is the best guy in the business and everything like that. And, um, you know, it, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, obviously, this is uh, it's a good one, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, but I think that he'll be protected pretty well. He's going to work with Theory. They did the angle there where, you know, they played off of the stuff, and Theory was a little bit arrogant with him, saying, now I'm the veteran and you're the rookie. And Gargano super kicked him, and uh, so they're going to be off and running, I guess, which is... Uh, I guess Dolph Ziggler kind of is the one who's the odd man out because uh, they were going to run with Dolph Ziggler and uh, Theory at all the shows, you know, to give Theory, you know, the idea is to give Theory opponents that will give him experience because Theory is the one who they really want to groom. And obviously, you know, it appears Levesque hasn't uh, done anything to change that, um, you know, so they, you know, they like the guy, good size, good look. Um, very good athlete, just needs ring work. Then we had the return of Johnny Gargano. And, man, this guy came out. This place was just going crazy for this guy. They're out of their minds. He's running around the ring. They're cheering, cheering, cheering. Johnny wrestling chants. He's about to talk, and then he starts doing laps again, and they're cheering. And uh, finally he does the promo and talks about how he wasn't sure he wanted to do this anymore. Talks about his new child is now six months old. Says he was a big deal in NXT. He was a... Uh, he did that freaking Miz interview. He talked about all the titles he had I won. I won this title. I won that title. I God. Ah, it's brutal. Nobody talks like that in real life, and they're still doing it. You're, the promos are supposed to be more realistic. Well, then out comes Austin Theory, and the fans chant, Who's your daddy? And he gets in the ring, and he essentially says, You know, Johnny, I'm glad to see you back, and... You know, I could use somebody to carry my bags and hand me my briefcase when I'm ready to cash in. And I want uh, I want to show you the way. And Theory says, why don't we do our old high five? So he holds his hand up. Johnny Gargano teases he's going to do the high five. But instead, he super kicks him, lays him out, crowd pops, and uh, off he goes. So Johnny Gargano is back. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio... We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.